Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And they were going over Surah 57. Iron. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. All that is in the heavens and all and in the earth praiseth God, and he is the mighty, the wise. His is the kingdom of the heavens and of the earth. He maketh alive and killeth. And he hath power over all things. He is the first and the last, the seen and the hidden. And he knoweth all things. It is he who in six days created the heavens and the earth, and then ascended his throne. He knoweth what that which entereth the earth, and that which goeth forth from it, and what cometh down from the heavens, and what mounteth up to it, and what and wherever you are, he is with you, and God beholdeth your actions. So the first four verses here are similar to the four, last three verses of Surah 59. But remember that the the establishment of the throne, the throne does not support God. His kingdom of the heavens and the earth, uh, his is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and to God shall all things return. He causeth the night to pass into the day, and he causeth the day to pass into the night, and he knoweth the very secrets of the bosom. Believe in God and his apostle, and bestow an alms of that whereof God hath made you heirs. For whoever among you believe and give alms, and there shall be a great recompense. What hath come to you that ye believe not in God? Although the apostle exhorteth you to believe in your Lord, and he hath accepted your alliance, if ye are believers, he it is who hath sent down clear tokens upon his servants, that he may bring you out of darkness into light, and truly kind, merciful to you is your Lord. So... Denial when you have the signs is not quite the same as denial with, a, with extra lies thrown in. There's a difference there, but uh, God is the ultimate, you know, I, I hate to say guru because of misassociations with the term that it's limited to the human capacity, but, uh, you know, the one that takes you from the darkness of light, but Chaitanya is... One of the names of the most merciful. Yeah. That language, but not, not the guy 500 years ago. That's bullshit. And what hath come to you that ye expend not for the cause of God? Since the heritage of the heavens and of the earth is God's only, that those among you contribute in the for the victory and fought shall be differently treated from certain others among you shall such have a nobler grade than those who contributed and fought after it but a goodly recompense hath god promised to all and God is fully informed of your actions. Who is he that will lend a generous loan to God? So will he double it, and he shall have a noble reward. One day thou shalt see the believers, 
men and women with their light running before them and on their right hand glad tidings for you this day of gardens and whose the rivers flow in which you shall abide forever this is the great bliss on that day the hypocrites both on that day the hypocrites both men and women shall say to those who believe tarry for us that we may kindle our light as yours it shall be said return ye back and seek light for yourselves but between them shall be a wall with a gateway within which shall be the mercy and in front without it the torment they shall cry to them were we not with you they shall say yes but ye led yourselves into temptation and ye deceived and ye doubted and ye delayed and ye doubted and the good things ye craved deceived you till the doom of the god arrived and the deceiver deceived you in regard to god on that day therefore no ransom shall be taken from you or from those who believe not your abode the fire this shall be your master and wretched the journey thither hath not the time come for those who believe to humble their hearts at the warning of god and at the truth which he hath sent down that they be not as those that th and that they be not as those to whom the scriptures were given heretofore whose lifetime was prolonged but whose hearts were hardened and many of them were perverse know that god quickeneth the earth after its death now have we made these signs clear to you that ye may understand verily they who give alms both men and women and they who lend a generous loan to god doubled it shall be to them and they shall have a noble recompense and they who believed in god and his apostle are the men of truth and the witness in the presence of their lord and they shall have their recompense and their light but as for the infidels you know misbelievers and those who give the lie to our signs these shall be the enemies of hell and we go back a little bit to compare 50, 61 to 57 a similarity is you know the mention of the wall the wall the human wall and the wall between the humans know that this world's life is only a sport and a pastime and show and a cause of vain glory among you and the multiplying of riches and children is like the plants which spring up after rain and their growth rejoice if the husbandmen then they wither away and thou seest them all yellow then they become stubble and in the next life is a severe chastisement or else pardon from god and his satisfaction this world's life is but a cheating fruition vine hasting after pardon from your lord and paradise whose outspread is as the outspread of the heaven and of the earth prepared is it for those who believe in god and his apostle such is the bounty of god to whom he will we give it and of immense bounty is god no mischance chanceth either on the earth or in your own person but ere we created them it was in the book for easy is this to god lest ye distress yourselves if 
wicked things escape you, and be over joyous for what falleth to you of your share. God loveth not the presumptuous, the boaster. Uh, verse 23 of 57. Muktal. And Thakur, yeah. So, mm, no, no character trait. It's just, you know, you assume the boast. Who are covetous themselves and incline others to covetousness, but whoso turneth away all. God is the rich, the praiseworthy. We have sent our apostles with clear tokens, and we have caused the book and the balance to descend with them, that men might observe fairness, and we have sent down iron, dire evil resideth in it, and as well as advantage to mankind, God would know who will assist him and his apostle in secret, verily God is powerful, strong, so, evil with it, um, Oh, I'm flipping the wrong direction. Well, there's mighty power and benefits. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. We have sent down iron, die, uh, mighty warlike strength. Oh, that's how he literally translates it, okay resideth in it, as well as advantage to mankind. God would know who will assist him and his apostle in secret. Verily, God is powerful, strong. So there's a difference to limited benefit and universal, of course. And of old we sent Noah and Abraham, and on their seed conferred the gift of prophecy and the book, and some of them we guided aright, but many were evil doers. Then we caused our apostle to follow in their footsteps, and we caused Jesus, the son of Mary, to follow them, and we gave him the evangel, the angelion, you know, the original one, not the, uh, which is thought to be 19 chapters for some reason, but all the canonical gospels started at 19 chapters. Some differences in content, but it's interesting. Well, there's, I think there's a narration where Muhammad said that the original one was 19 too, but I don't think anybody knew about those for, for over a thousand years after that, though. I mean, knew physically. And, and we put in the hearts of those who followed him kindness and compassion, you know, who's those who actually follow Jesus, not some blind fanaticism that you tend to see. But as to the but as to the monastic life, they invented it themselves. The desire only of the desire only of pleasing God did we prescribe to them, and this they observed not as it ought to have been observed. But such of them as believed, we gave their reward, though many of them were perverse. O ye who believe, fear God, and believe in his apostle, two portions of his mercy will he give you. He will bestow on you light to walk in, and he will forgive you, for God is forgiving merciful, and that the people of the book may know that they have no control over aught of the favors of God, and that these gifts of grace are in the hands of God, and that he vouchsafeth, vouchsafeth them to whom he will, for God is of immense bounty. Um, sorry for where I'm not as good. I'm not practicing.